I just want to not work. What you do? I'm a simple man. That I, that's all. I just want to. People houses. always say they don't want to work, and then that comes, and they're like, "Yeah, I'm bored, bro. I'm trying to make something." Yeah, is your work you know meaning make? making something? My main focus, if I was, well, I'd probably like, I'll probably make companies until I die. Okay, okay. But I would be like this fill up time. I would just hire the best personal trainer I can afford, maybe a couple, and then learn like three or four fucking combat sports and just become a monster. Yeah, that's that's like I said, people going towards goals is kind of the human thing. And that's only that's that's fun because you get to work on a on the craft and you have a little point in your head where you're you're working towards. And then when I'm 35, 40, I'll be rich and I'll just be fucking I'll literally just be an A one guy. You know? Wanna be an A one guy, dude. Dude, just like an A one guy. Yeah. I consider I consider A one guy someone whose pockets are good and someone whose body's good and Overall, they value their health, and yeah, they're just nice, I guess. Yeah, they're just like not dicks. Okay, not dicks. You know, little, but a little piece in there somewhere, maybe. Yeah. All right, all right. But like, I don't know. Something. This is this body shaming to say that like when, when I see like a guy that doesn't work out, it's obvious they don't work out. I'm just like, ugh. Uh, like they don't even need to be fat. Like they could just be like, insanely skinny. It's probably some someone could probably say that's some shame, but I know what you're coming from. Um, I was like, dude, like do some push ups or something. Yeah, because it, it, I don't know. It all goes back to like discipline and working towards things. Um, and I yeah. think physically, especially. <laughs> and it's worse when they try to, uh, uh, what's that fucking word? Uh, defend not working out. Sure. sure. And I'm like, bro, your chest caves in, dude. And you're telling me working out is bad. Like what you're doing is bad. <laughs> Not working out. Yeah. You look like your body looks like it's struggling to support your head. But then the other side of that, though, is like if a person is satisfied with their life, then it's just kind of like you just worrying about someone else's life, which is kind of probably just back onto like you wanting to do things. That's cool. But if they're complaining me to me about, let's say they're complaining to me about a problem sure. and be directly fixed with working out. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I can't get laid or, oh, I'm depressed all the time or, oh, I'm lethargic. I'm like, okay, well, there's an easy fix for that. I agree. I agree. It's called 40 push ups in the morning. That's it. Yeah. It's called minimum effort. But no, that is the thing that, that that's what it, go, it goes back to that chemical balance thing where people are really in a negative feedback loop and it comes like chemically. And if you keep on doing that, you, you eventually have like a quote unquote positive reward for negative, just like negativity in your life. And that becomes like addictive in your brain, just like oh. how the opposite is addictive. You know how some people come from like a lot of people come from poor families and they see their their parents struggling and they're like, OK, this will always be like my reality. Like I'm not even going to try to do anything else. But then there's some people that think like the opposite of that. I wonder what's the difference. It's interesting. Do you think, do you think it's just the parent? Parent has a more um, disciplined, productive mindset, even if they didn't come up on, on, on good money. I, I, I don't know. I don't know that, what it is. I think it's like, there's still, a, there's still our kids <clears throat> that probably have parents that are like, Oh, this is, this is just the way it is. It's I just I looked out, and then the kid is like, "Nah, I'm gonna go do something." But you also have the the opposite side too, where you have probably parents that have positive growth mindset and still just kind of ended up not financially okay, but kids still want to progress beyond that. I think, Does I think a kid need like an example? Like a kid can see rich people all the time. But I feel like you need to be like, I feel like the default is you only get money by working and like, yeah, that's, that's just social conditioning though. Yeah. Like how do you, how do you teach, how do you teach a kid? Like, cause people told, my parents told me my whole life, you need to have money work for you. And I didn't know what that meant until college. Really? Interesting. Yeah. They're like, you gotta have your money work for you. And I was like, what does that even fucking mean? 
Huh. Okay. That's interesting. Cause I didn't hear that growing up. It was just my mother was just working, uh, kind of like in the now stuff. Um, yeah, like my parents didn't talk about like investing a whole lot, but they kept saying like, "Money work for you, man." You, <laughs> okay, you, what is it? I'm gonna send my money to work. Like, am I gonna send it to a job? Like, I'm did okay. they uh, did they ever like like sit down and like show you like bills or stuff? No, they just said uh, they just it was like really vague lessons, yeah. like like if you don't respect money, it won't respect you. Sure. Like when you pull like cash out of your wallet or make sure like you handle it like like you know what you're doing. You don't want shit like flying out anywhere. I, like, there's, there's most of the most of the people I see online, like I've seen Cardone do it. I know Ian Dunlap for me a while does it all the time. <clears throat> uh um trap from I forget his full title, but he's trap. Wall Street Trapper. Um of like literally like sit, sitting down with young kids showing bills showing their own investment account and saying uh this is money we're putting into a company and this is how a return comes back from that company if it's investing um i know i've seen cardone it, it does come from just like prepping your kid at a super young age i think but with like examples of like this is that this is this this is what a, a equity is of a company this is why this happens in this society but most important well, most importantly i think from what i've learned from other people is having a, a young child or just an older child um or person but let's say you're a parent you have a, a four-year-old five-year-old you gotta be doing the thing that you want them to be knowledgeable upon like if, if a kid sees you trading stocks all the time and you're getting up at like 6 a.m to trade stocks they're going to be interested in knowing why that parent does that and what it what fruits come from it um go ahead if you're you like eating dinner kid and this is i gotta do this i gotta look at these lines yeah but but i mean it's only like if you do it from a positive mindset though like if you're doing like yeah like yo this is this is what's going down bro like i've tried to master this stuff for like years and i it, wonder I, yeah I, know, I took a uh there was a section of my economics class in high school where i talked about stocks just did not compute just did not listen i think i faked we had to like find companies and make like a fake portfolio and then report the shit yeah later Dude, i didn't and get I, like, it and i went into it. i went into stock club in college for, for sophomore year and, and really? girls talk bro girls talking about a, a bag would be a bag right now uh it was a uh, estee lauder el and i was watching it and, and it's kind of like a vivid memory in my mind i'm on the steps in like basketball shorts and she's talking about e, el and why it's a good investment and like even that i didn't i didn't it just it wasn't there you know i'm gonna start i'm gonna start doing um, I don't know who said it. Maybe Warren Buffett, or maybe it was Shaq. Then. <laughs> and he was like, "I only invest in companies that like one change people's lives, and two like I actually use." Mm -hmm. And like I've been thinking, like I I've been investing in a lot of shit that I don't even use. And yesterday I was drinking Starbucks, and I was like, "Dude, this is a bitch in coffee. Like this is a great culture. This is a good company. Like I fuck with this company. Like the people. I know you never really hear anybody complain about working at Starbucks. Like honestly." I'm like, that's great. Like, so it's probably an okay job. I'm going to fucking, every time I buy coffee from Starbucks, I'm going to put the same amount of money in Starbucks stock. That's just going to be my thing because I enjoy the company. And then I'm going to think about what other companies I use. Like I use Uber a lot. I think it's a great company, but I don't like their thing. Yeah. It's just like, ah, let's tell me they didn't like it. And I trust their opinion. But it's just like, but the, I just but, don't like, I don't like their future vision, but yeah. But that's the thing too. But like that, like that literal it. lesson of like, yo, you you use and, and this was a lot of people that are in stocks, I think are teaching kids. They're like, yo, use it, you use this every day. And I think Buffett did have the thing of like invest in things you know about. And then Shaq's thing was only invest in things that change people's lives. Um one, you can do research on anything, so you can invest in anything. But um, yeah, 
things that solve the biggest problem or have the biggest cult following, those are, those are where you want to be at. Biggest moat, uh, no competition is, is the best competition. Um, target, my frequent target. Target is, is fire from what Amazon. I hear. Expensive, and but and fractional shares. Fire from what I hear. Yes. Fucking, what else do I use? Welcome. Uh, Welcome. You know, you know in and out was public. I would buy all the stock. I threw 10 oh, grand. Real estate in and out. Depot is a good stock from what I hear. Yeah, I don't really go to Home Depot. But you can just pretend it'll be a good investment. Where else do I go? Uh, that, I that's what that's what I did, you know, <laughs> starting in Robin. Maybe it was Robin Hood that changed everything, bro. <laughs> Robin Hood changed everything. For Might me. have been. Changing, well, really changed everything was working at that fucking audio store. And then they went. And I was like, okay, I have a full time job to pay shitty. I don't want to be 60 years old working here like these clowns. How do I get out of it? Sure, sure, sure. I was, I was talking about investing in general, but, um, Robin Hood. I remember that shit came out. I was on the wait list. But that's what, oh, wait, also wait list. I, I shout out to John Henry and, and Luke, but wait lists are a good uh, thing for building. Even if you don't have a product, you get a wait list full of people. Tells VCs that you got something. Shout out. Um, but I remember because Robin and I bought Uber in like 17 and stuff. There's other weird stuff I was buying. But like Uber, it just sounded cool. And I used it. And then what's something else I bought? And then and then I had Tesla. But I had I didn't I just didn't know about investing really. Um and Tesla would have been bad. I remember I I was and it, it goes back to like investing in stocks not clicking sometimes. I, I remember watching uh, CNBC as my grandfather, and he used to watch it a lot. I think, but I just I didn't I didn't get it. But there was one day in like sixteen or seventeen, fifteen, not maybe not fifteen, sixteen or seventeen, and uh, they were talking about Tesla, and uh, he's like, "Yo, you like Tesla, bro?" I'm like, "Yeah, man, Tesla's gonna be dope." And then if I had invested in something there, it would have been a, a nice entry. Um, but now Tesla's a trillion dollars. I think there's a lot of room for. It's gonna. It's literally. It's still early. Ten years, like I say, to everybody get a good company, get a couple decades, boom, boom, boom. Uh, I don't have a Tesla, so I don't know. I'm gonna. Don't go too strong on the Buffett. Only invest in what you use. You, but the thing is, like when I like I. Like, like I don't you like gotta, you gotta I, mind. You gotta mind. I I don't like investing in things and then like having doubt anymore. Okay. Sure, 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 sure. Well, that, well, that's where the that's where like if I had let's say I had a Tesla, yeah, and I'd driven it for two years, and then Elon Musk does some stupid shit and the the price drops, and I'm just like, is, yo, my Tesla is so good, I'm gonna buy some fucking more. But I don't have a Tesla, so I'm just like, oh, okay, sure, buy more. I don't. So the the you investing in things that you know is kind of like the first step to just it's like doing a research on a company but not doing research on a company. So like to have no doubt in a company, you got to research a company. But if you don't want to do that, you use things you use every day. So you're like, oh, I've been the consumer and I know what they do. So it's kind of like tears of that. But that the, the Musk point thing is, a, is a, if you have a Tim Cook in Tesla right now, bro. Ooh, if, if you have uh, a Tim uh, Cook in Tesla right now, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, bro. Come on now. If every time you have an, I bought an iPhone, I put the same amount of money in some Apple stock, bought a couple shares. You know. Oh, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I would if you're if you're back on the stock wave, do you go Apple safe? Very very no doubt. Uh, I like Square. Square is cool. The people, um, the people I know that I trust really like Square. Square is cool. Twitter's also, cool. I'm on the fence about investing in Facebook because I still think they're an unethical business, but they're the fucking future, dude. It's the future. Like, come on. Like, there's a nice moat, but uh, I don't know. Government stuff too. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But but yeah, I would also having less companies to research on is, is better than not a lot but amazon's dope 